was <laughs> it was just it was a lot. You know, it was very physically challenging this this role, but that's what made it fun. You know, I always wanted to make an action movie, so I wasn't complaining. You know, while I was making it. Uh, the Russo brothers told me they may have manifested your other role that's getting a lot of buzz right oh, now. Oh, yeah, yeah. There was a line in the movie, like, let's yeah. get this Ken doll or something. Yeah. And they say that happened without even them knowing about the upcoming project. How yeah. crazy is that? They just felt the Kennergy. They felt it. They knew. Somehow they knew. They felt the what? The Kennergy. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah. <laughs> My God, I mean, I've never made a film like this in my life. You know, it was all new to me. I've made movies that have action in it, but never, I mean, this is like, you know, most action movies, I guess, have half the action sequences. This had nine. Um, it was, they were driving. I was just along for the ride. It was, and it was, it was a hell, crazy ride. And last one, working with Chris, how, what was that like? Did you guys enjoy working together behind the scenes as much as it looked like on screen? Yeah, you know, he was having so much fun playing this character. You know, he just seemed to be really just relishing every moment of it. That it made that makes it so much fun to play against someone that's that's having that good of a time. Well, you try to do as much of it as you can yourself. I mean, sometimes the stunt guys are just more physically capable, but, but Ryan, myself, Anna, Danush, everyone really tried to give everything they had. Oh, no, it's never just one take, you know. It, it's tough to get it right, and, and the beauty of this movie is that everyone was giving everything they had to make sure we got it right. And how did you enjoy going head-to-head -head with Ryan? And it's fantastic. I mean, it's Ryan Gosling. He's one of the best actors out there, so it was an honor. The most fun part of doing this project, I think it was just releasing into finding out how bad we could be. I think that there is a great relish in being the kind of villain that audiences can enjoy you letting go of any sense of morality and seeing how far that goes and kind of what dark and wonderful and delicious places that can take you. Um, you were interacting with Chris's character a lot. What, what kind of villain is he? What are the audiences going to think of this character? Quite possibly the most charismatic villain that we've seen in some time. It's scary how charming and casual he is with extreme villainy. Um, and I think an inspiration to bad folks all across the world. With Ryan? Uh, very, very much. I adore Ryan. I really admire him. He's one of the actors I always looked up to when I first got to LA. And it is always, you know, he his attention to the script and the details and the way he's just pain in the butt, just like going for every detail and knowing, wanting to know why everything happens is amazing. So it makes your job like so much easier and, 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 and you know, much better. Uh, and he's a great actor. It's a, it's a modern story. It's a lot of action. It's very vibrant. It's very, it goes like very fast. But at the core of it, the story has a big heart. And, and it's just like an amazing cast.